I'm Bill. I'm Marge. And this is Our Tree Farm. Our farm is located near Doylestown, PA. We work here at our farm with our sons, Michael and our son, Jamie. One thing we've learned after 35 years in the tree business is that we never know what job we're going to do next. These guys are ready to go hunting at Highland Hill Farm. How you doing? Uh, my name is Anthony. This is Frank. Uh, we're rabbit hunting Highland Hill Farms. Uh, we had to uh, control the rabbit population and do our best on it. Uh, we're about to unload the dog. These are two of our beagles. That's uh, Pippi. This is Mercy. They're called Black Creek Beagles. The tail's a dot. So uh, they're working those, hunting those. So Frank, give me a hand. We're going to put these are Gar and GPS collars on them. They allow us to keep control of the dogs if they chase off game. And it gives us the positioning of where they are. We need to find them. It gives us on the handheld. It actually shows their position to us uh, up to about seven miles away. So it really helps us to uh, get the dogs back and keep them close to us. Uh, this female is a year and a half old. Mercy, I believe, is almost five years old. And uh, they're rabbit dogs. Let me get the other collar on this one. And we keep bells on the collars too, so we can get a good idea of where they are at all times. As opposed to uh, not knowing where they are, we can get a good idea of we usually run four at a time, sometimes three, sometimes four. You know. We usually run in packs of four. This is Alice Moop. Uh, this is Sarah. This is Amy and Sarah. Sarah receives rabbits. If I shoot one and it gets away and it's hit, she'll bring, pick it up and bring it back to us. So hopefully she'll do it today for us. Again, they each wear their own collar. Each collar has a different color, and on my handheld device, each color corresponds to each dog, so I know which dog is doing what, and where they are, and where they should be. It's a little chilly out this morning, I guess it's in the, in the 20s, a little windy. But we don't let that stop us. As you can see, they're ready to go. They don't like to waste any time. Uh, so, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let them out for a couple hours and hopefully we'll get a couple rabbits off the property. For then you'll go back and get the other dogs. And then and we'll take out the other pack usually for the next hunt. You know, so these Okay, tools. very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, I greatly appreciate it, Bill. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. It's a great program you run. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. We'll you. see you. Yep. Thank Highland Hill Farm is a tree and plant nursery in Pennsylvania. In Milan, PA, we have a number of farms that we own and grow trees on. We have about 250 acres of river flats, which is used mainly to grow corn. On these river flats, you can hunt duck, geese, and deer. We're offering this up for a yearly lease for duck, goose, and deer hunters. If you're interested, give us a call at 215 651-8329. Most of what you see in the picture between Route 220 and the Susquehanna River are the river flats that we own. These river flats also contain Indian artifacts, so if you like to hunt for artifacts, this is the place to do it. If you want to hunt in other properties that we own, we have a number of ranches in Montana and in New Mexico, which we will let you hunt if you're leasing this property. But you will need to be able to get the tags and transportation to Montana or New Mexico to partake in that offer as well.
If you'd like to call and discuss what we have available, please call me, Bill, at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329. Thank you. Like I said, we've been thinking about going by those pine trees, but I said, Frank, you know, I don't even know if we can, and I, and I, and I don't like to assume anything. You know? Yeah. No, there's, there's more, yeah. Well, you did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we had a good day. Uh, <laughs> nice outing. It's almost, uh, well, it's almost 2 o'clock now. Well, that's not bad. So that's not bad from 8 to 2. It's a pretty good day. Yeah. You know? uh, well, I'm going to get to continue today or trees? Yes, eight. they do. I heard. No, no. We're done. We're done for today. Uh, oh, then, then you're not allowed back. <laughs> We're done for today. Yeah, they do a lot of damage to the, I guess the saplings, they eat the uh, they eat, bark. Yeah, the rabbits and mice do more damage to trees than any other vector that's, you know, in the in the field. Really? Yeah, the deer do damage, but rabbits and mice can kill thousands of trees. Oh, wow. Thousands. Well, yeah. Whenever you have a problem like this, you can contact us anytime. I'm sure. We're willing to help out anytime. <laughs> any way we can. Well, it does. Well, let me tell you something. Let me just tell you a little story. You know, every tree that you see in the forest or in the park or everywhere produces millions of seeds, okay? And of that set of seeds that it produces, only one on average lives to become a full-grown tree. And that, you know, is, that is a fact. And yeah. these little critters do more damage to tr trees than you can imagine. Oh, and when they get in my greenhouse, yeah. they just go ballistic. I yeah. mean, there's no stopping them. They, their teeth constantly well, grow, yeah. so they always have to find something to chew on. And it's usually my trees. Yeah. So I'm well, glad you guys came down to get well, rid of them. I appreciate them. it. I okay. Appreciate it. Very good. And if, uh, if you don't mind, we'd love to come back. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good day. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Great. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.